Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my basement as I'm about to embark on a new to me adventure. This is a Patreon mini times special request. Jillian, this is for you. We are finally here. It is episode one, season one of Black Sales. And I think it's called either I or one, but I'm gonna guess it's I. I'm gonna guess it's I. I know little to nothing about the show except it is a historical action drama Treasure Island prequel? or Treasure Island inspired pirates. It's pirates y'all. And and I don't know what else I'm stepping into. <laughs> so we're just gonna dive right into it under the big cozy blanket. But before we do, because this is an episode one, I have to feel compelled to, to give you a small disclaimer, which is just to remind you all that everything I say Going forward is only my opinion. It's based on my past experiences, research, observations of the world. You and I had led different lives, so we're going to react to things differently. And also to remind you all, because sometimes you forget, I watch stories, shows differently than others because I'm a storyteller myself. I pay attention to things that happen not only on the screen, but happen from the moment of their inception and the whole production of bringing a television show to the masses, I find fascinating. And I didn't realize I do this all the time, regardless if it's a reaction channel or not. It's just something I do. And I didn't realize it until I was at the movies last week with somebody new to me. First time we've been to a movie or watched a show together. <laughs> And I don't speak my thoughts out loud, but I feel them and I'm holding it and I'm expressing them physically. And he goes, why are you so tense? And I'm like, the law of averages, somebody's gonna die. And I'm waiting for this moment to happen and I'm waiting for this part of the story to take place and it makes me anxious. And he's like, you don't turn it off, do you? No, no, I don't turn it off. <laughs> I don't, it's just how I am. So do keep that in mind as we go along. Also, full episode watch along will be available on Patreon. I would like to see you there. So yes, I have the blanket and I have with me a whiskey ginger because let's keep the scurvy away all with the limes, right? Arr. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> let's get to it. Gore. Gore is the first thing on the uh, uh, trigger warning. Great. Pirate's code. Okay, we're war against the world. Sir, she is still closing. We simply cannot outrun her. We must surrender while we still can. Gun crews at the ready! I don't think surrender is an option. I think it's run or die. <laughs> Are those the options, run or die? Is this the map to some treasure? <gasps> what are you doing? Why on deck with the crew? I think the better question is, why aren't they all down here with us? Yeah. Oh, so you're a coward then? Yeah, you too? I'm not a coward, I'm a cook. I've no quarters to man. Bear up, damage your short spell! Yeah, don't waste your... Oh, but you're not out of theirs. <laughs> the ship flies the banner of Captain Flint. Isn't this your problem too? Good cooks are in short supply, even for criminals. But you, cowering below decks, dodging a fight, they'll got you for sport. Oh, it's, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is mayhem. Give it up. What is that? It's nothing. Then you shouldn't have acted so suspicious. Well, maybe when Captain Flint gets here, we can let him decide. Oh. That was a great cutaway. Cut us in. So what, Mr. Fisher? Gonna close them in anyway. Please let me inside. Move away from the door. Move away from the door. 
Oh no, he's gonna just kill you, kid. Outside. <laughs> now we have you surrounded and we'll just wait it out and let you die inside that little room. just turn their cannons against them. Well, these look like pirates who really enjoy their work. Just the that was just the preamble. <laughs> oh, Bear McCreary. I know that name. <laughs> Maybe it is one. Oh, and the sharks come to dine. The sharks come to dine. Grow up. <laughs> well, it's blocked, Mr. Gates. Well, who blocked it? <laughs> he couldn't handle the thought of what you might do to him. I, on the other hand, would very much like to join your crew. My name is John Silver, and I happen to be a very good cook. Oh! Now that the fight is over, you have nothing more to fear from us today. Because we know this fight was not of your making. It was the choice of our true enemy. The tyrant captain! <gasps> oh, that's how they're spinning this. This one wants to join. Says he can cook. Can he cook? Is that Luther from Umbrella Society? Take a look. Captain's log. It's all there. Except. Told you this was the ship. Where is the schedule? Minor obstacle. But we're getting close. Let me see if I have this right. This is four times in a row for which the profits will barely exceed the expenses that it took to win it. Singleton's out there trying to convince your crew to torture that poor bastard of a captain simply because he hasn't worked out how to get them to do it to you. Well, all's well. Because you've discovered that the information we can't tell anybody we're looking for exists on a page that we don't have. The business of pirating. Interesting. Wow. They have nothing to do on sea today. You want to bring on five more men? Oh, to refuse to kill Dan. Is it their hands you want? Or their votes? Oh. I was going to say something else. Not anymore. But the cook knew that page was important. Why would the cook know that? And will John know what this means? He has the votes. 
Beg pardon? Singleton. The votes. He has the votes to remove you as captain. So you gotta remove Singleton. We haven't finished canvassing yet, but when he gets ashore, he doesn't have to be sneaky about it. He'll get what he needs. It's been three months with no profits to speak of, and nobody knows what it's all been for because you don't trust them with the truth. I don't trust them with the truth. So here we are. I'm gonna go and see Richard. He can help me recreate the schedule. You think he's gonna help you? Yes, yes I do. Let's just for fun say that he doesn't. What then? Then I'll forget about the schedule and go back to hunting fat, lazy merchantmen and everyone will be content. Done for. We're home. Are they home home? Are they just on land? <laughs> Is this English soil? It was. Once. Nowadays. Whose is it? It should be the denials, but... <laughs> Just switched out colonizers, it seems. Wait, I don't understand. The captain asked for me to go. Yes, in matter of speaking. He doesn't know I'm coming, does he? No, but I have business here, so the job falls to you. The captain's going to ask Richard Guthrie for a favor. Mr. Guthrie is going to say no. When that happens, the captain will most likely react poorly. Your job is to restrain him. How? The last crew that ran afoul of him couldn't buy or sell shit for two months. He never listens to me. And I can assure you the captain regards your inputs more than you know. Billy's going with you. Who's Billy? <laughs> Goes to the Gufferies. They pay up front for it, take it someplace civilized and sell it. Oh, it's the book. I don't see them in the rest of the journals. All the volumes from the prize are here, unless the captain took it. In which case, it's in his cabin on the ship. Don't go to his cabin on the ship. Is that him? Is this necessary? He's just a cook. He meets the new ones, no exceptions. Who wants to meet me? Blackbeard. Ooh. We got Blackbeard for reals. He likes to meet the new ones of this specific crew or just all pirates in general? Whatever you do, don't show fear. We're doing some hazing. It's Black Bear to Cat. A woman with unintended, unattended facial hair. What's well, a woman? <laughs> You're not Blackbeard. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and they're expecting him to pay for this, I'm guessing. This is not a freebie. But if the mere whiff of the Navy is too much for you, then God bless and get the fuck out. Fuck yourself, cunt. So I'm guessing this is the moment where she demonstrates her power. Her strength. Did you just tell me to ingenuity? How much was their last haul? Nearly a thousand in profit. Best tally in months. Mm. Wow, Mr. Sanderson. Pleased to be in your company. Because you're an earner. Can I tell you what happens when I stand near an earner? My pussy gets wet. In which case, I will go fuck myself. <laughs> Mistress Guthrie. Well, what the fuck do you want? Oh, he went to the missus. Instead of the mister. Ah. Flint's got morale problems. What do you want me to do about it? I need money to show up support. Oh, so there's no loyalty. Loyalty. Think of it as a 
investment in the future. How much would you need? A thousand pieces of eight. Give or take. That's a hefty investment. I'll see that you get what you need. Thank you, Mum. There were no conditions on that. Interesting. But this enterprise belongs to your father. And I do not believe he would approve of this uh, investment. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing that my father isn't here. Is Pop still around? What does the crew think of me, Billy? Um, I know they've always found me aloof. But now it seems they feel I'm too, too weak. Ooh. Ooh. I was going to say unlucky. Ooh. But the word is weak. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, this man. <laughs> I hold for every finger in your hand. But your eyes keep drifting to this. One scream will bring Mr. Noonan. I'll let him know his whores like to steal from their customers. But you haven't paid. And he can let your new captain know you have withheld something of great value that rightly belonged to his latest prize. But you cannot know who best to sell it to. I can know that. And what's that going to cost me? Half. <laughs> Neither of them know what it's worth. You can still walk away. Bien. Now tell me what it is. I don't know. <laughs> True. You are not going to throw your support behind Singleton. Oh. I wondered when this visit would come. The vote's closer than you think. I know this because I bought back 16 votes today. Wow. As of now, Singleton is only up eight votes. That's a lot of votes still. Captain's fate is in our hands. In your hands. Your men vote with you. So all the so within the boat, there's all these little packs of gangs of people that follow somebody else. Think about your men. Think about their future. Is it their future you wish to protect? Or your friends? When there's spies everywhere. <laughs> spies everywhere. He took her, John Tucker with him, onto the, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna. Let me tell you a story. Not a Spaniard named Vasquez. Oh, man, these cuts. These cuts for half a second. <laughs> Vasquez, it turns out, is dying. Colonial intelligence. Navy, more specifically. One of the top agents in the Americas, responsible for the security of one particular ship. A ship with a cargo so rich, the King of Spain is very anxious to see it launched. Storm season was upon them and no escort could be mustered to guard her. But his superiors demanded that he sign off. They advised him that if he couldn't arrange for an escort, he should plot a course for the ship unknown to anyone but our captain. And That's a clue. That's a something shown that he was been trifled with. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. The ship in question. Arca de Lima. The largest Spanish treasure galleon in the Americas. Total cargo in excess of five million dollars. It sounds like your plan is neatly resolved. Ex what could you possibly want of me? A page was torn from the log with the Urca's course and schedule written on it. Now, I could recreate it from what's left, but I need help. Someone with expert knowledge of Spanish operations. Your man in Havana. I need you to make an introduction. Absolutely not. Mm, not even for a take. Or a potential take of it. 
If I were to even make inquiries about this with colonial intelligence, they'd see me dead. But I have a future planned I'm not so willing to throw away. Let me make myself plain. You will give me this introduction. <gasps> Billy, put your pistol on Mr. Guthrie here. It's not going to be on Mr. Guthrie. The name, please. I'm telling you, it is simply out of the question. <laughs> Who's approaching? Captain Hume of His Majesty's ship, the Scarborough. Oh, they got there fast. Tell me something, Mr. Guthrie. Do you have gossip here? You see, gossip is what holds civilization together. I don't understand. Do you know what the gossip is in London about you? The gossip is that you make your profits selling ill-gotten cargo. There's no truth to that. We'll certainly find out, won't we? Bye. Take them into custody. All of them. Oh. Oh, Jesus, Billy! Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. No. So Guthrie's gotta... <sighs> Give some sort of security for his daughter. I want what's best for your family. Flint has fucked us off long enough. Can't you see that? <gasps> I think this man's gonna die. Oh, who is this? What is this? What's this power play being played here? Captain Vane. But I am on one boat. Looks like Flint is safe. I don't think so. There's there's lots of captains here in this puddle of stuff. When he didn't return, I came looking for him. He said one word before he died. Bane. I know what you're thinking. Did we lose that fight? At least today. Fuck that. Eleanor. Eleanor! <laughs> Miss Guthrie! Surprise, not surprised. Did she lose some teeth? So what are your skills, Eleanor? Now, would you like to tell me what that was all about? Flint, his captaincy, I had an interest. Go live. You'll make it right. Why would I do that? Yeah. If you don't, you're finished here. See how long you last as captain when your crew can't get paid. Your father sells my cargo. Your father's dead. When I tell him you put our biggest earner out of business, he'll so remind you that Flynn hasn't been your biggest earner in quite some time. Your father will always choose profits over daughters. But make no mistake about it. Whatever future this place has left, I'm it. Yay? <laughs> and if you ever challenge me again in front of my crew, I may just forget that I loved you once. Did he now? Did he now? When the sea grows rough, you come to Max. This place, I can feel it slipping away. You are so ready to see the worst. You cannot see what is right in front of your nose. The world is so full of surprises. <sighs> Were they a couple before, or is this their first time being together in such a way? I am unclear. That's some blue ass water. And they're just going to bury him at sea? 
We'll need to find a safe place to stash him before he comes to and starts talking. But in the meantime, I certainly don't want his clothes giving him away. Lying to us about what it is we're hunting out here. And now when it's clear it can't possibly succeed, you want to keep lying. I mean, maybe Singleton is right. Maybe it's time we made a change. Mm. Well, lies ahead, Mr. Singleton. Can I see you through? There's a war coming. Really. One ship isn't a war. One ship isn't what's coming. When I say there's a war coming, I don't mean with the Scarborough. Civilization is coming. And it means to exterminate us. If we are to survive, we must unite behind our own king. Oh! We have no kings here. I am your king. Mr. Singleton has called for a vote to select himself as a new captain. I need a minute. I just realized that's Poseidon from Percy Jackson. Took me long enough. I'm like, this man looks so familiar. And the fact that he's Poseidon. <laughs> I thought you said you'd deal with this. It fell through. You need to figure out what you're going to say to him. I don't care about anything I have to say. Well, you need to make him care. Or I don't know what happens next. Feather on the floor, feather on the floor. You found the feather on the floor. It's John. The most important element of a healthy ship is trust. For the past few months, you and I have been on the trail of a prize so rich, it could upset the very nature of our world. And for that reason, I felt it necessary to keep it secret. But it would appear that my concerns about secrecy had merit. Someone on this crew discovered my plans and tore from this log the very page necessary to discover that prize. Stole it from us. And then stoked your resentment to cover his crime. Oh, that's how he's spinning this. And make himself your captain. That's how he's spinning this. That's a very serious accusation, Captain. Thievery is punishable by death, as is a false accusal of the same. The accused has a choice. He can submit to a trial the fucking way. Then swords. Fight to the death. So how are Flint's skills with the sword? <laughs> I'm guessing he thinks they're pretty damn decent if this is his route to avoid being voted off of the ship. Oh. Hey, it's a very palpable hit. You know Flint's got to survive, right? Flint has to survive, although Flint... Veins in the sidelines, so it could be possible that Flint goes down because that would make it very intriguing if Flint, who we think is going to be the main dude in the whole show, goes down. Oh! Oh! Smashy, smashy. Oh, you're just gonna go with beating. Oh, you're just gonna go with a good old fashioned beating with his bare hands or does he have a, a cannonball muskety thing in his hand? Well, that's a way to let out your frustrations over what's happened the last 24 hours. Well, y'all knew it was coming. <gasps> he stuck a fake piece of paper on him. Billy, you don't know what you're looking at. The 
This is stolen page. Friends. Oh. Brothers. Countrymen. The prize that you and I have been pursuing is Laka de Lima. Now, with this page securely in our possession, we can begin our hunt. I'm going to make you the princess of the new world. Now that wasn't the end of the episode. Ho 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 ho. Can I help you? Perhaps we can help each other. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. She'll spill the beans. I think I have something you might want to buy. Well, that's now the end of the episode. Oh. Well, that was one humdinger of a pilot. So, okay, many cast of characters. I'm not gonna remember all their names. I think possibly, I don't know. So question, my th question, my thought was, especially now with Max going to, what's his name? Okay, so now you got this crew of guys. Bloodthirsty, blood's boiling, violence, violence, okay. Even if Max hadn't gone to what's his name, the fact that any of them would keep quiet what it is that they're now on the hunt for, very slim, very slim. Word have gotten around. But now that Max goes to what's his name, Captain Vane's gonna hear about it. So now, now they're all gonna be on the hunt for this ship. And at least Vane now will be on the hunt for the book, thinking the missing page is inside. How important is this missing page exactly? Yeah, we don't know, but important enough. And then how does John, John plays both captains then? Is that what this season in? He plays both captains against each other as and using their, their resources to get him further to the prize. And even if you get to the prize, who stands on top of the hill? Because somebody will always be after you. Ka-ching! I do also enjoy the fact that we do have some women power players. We've got Max, we've got Eleanor, whoever Slashy McGee is. I don't know her name, but I liking that it's not just all men. We've got some women with skin in the game. I appreciate that. And then they all have a common enemy, which is the Navy, the British Navy. So I can see in the future they'll have to fight against each other, but then also come together sometimes to find another goal. Oh, there's lots of pieces of this puzzle that's been laid out. How does it come to be? How does it come to be? And why do I have a feeling <laughs> we're not ever going to find this gold or this ship? But that's what Treasure Island's about. Although I have never read Treasure Island. I'm aware of it, but I've never read it. But I have a feeling this gold is the gold in that. So yeah. <laughs> So, wow, what a beginning. And there's so much more to come. I don't know if I can. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Episode. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with me. And until next time, please um, hit subscribe. So, you know, when the next episode drops, take care of yourself. This is a reminder. If you haven't in a while, go eat. As I always say, toast is magical. It can be sweet. It can be savory. It can be wholemeal. It can be an appetizer. Get some toast and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.